Here's a quick tutorial showing you how the uh, credential harvester attack works on uh, Kali Linux. We're going to be using the um, social engineering toolkit. So we'll go down here and click it. And we're going to do one social engineering attack, a website attack vector, a credential harvester attack. For ease of use, we're going to do a template, but if you choose two, you could clone any site like a uh, corporate login site, bank site, whatever. We're just going to do a template and we are going to do. I uh, ran in a, uh, IF config a second ago. So my IP address is 172.168.230.129. Keep in mind, I'm running this in my internal network. If you were doing it in the real world, you'd have to forward ports, or more likely, you'd have this running on well, some, not your virtual machine, local computer. In the real world, this would be like, you know, EC2 instance or something. Um, we're just going to do Gmail and that easy. I should have a Gmail clone running on um, that IP address, which was 172.16.230.255. Whoops. Is that not right? No. <laughs> 172.16. Dot 230 dot 129 I knew 255 didn't sound right and then um, you see we just had it pop up on HTTP get so now if we enter a username and a password and hit enter it doesn't do anything but look right here there's the password that the user just entered so it's up to you to figure out how to uh, <laughs> get somebody to click on a link. I know an IP address didn't work, didn't really make it very easy, but uh, you could set up DNS and copy, I don't know. That's what social engineering comes in. Get your victim to click, to go to that link and uh, not realize they're getting schooled. All right, bye.